Many objects have more than one natural or resonant frequency of vibration. Dr. Smith has a six foot long hollow aluminum tube. He's going to hold the tube at different positions while striking the tube with a rubber mallet. The resonant frequencies that exist will be revealed on the frequency analyzer. Holding the tube at its exact center position, the tube is struck and the resonant frequencies detected are shown on the frequency analyzer. Notice that many frequencies quickly dissipated, leaving only a few surviving resonant frequencies at 350, 750, and 1500 Hz. Let's try again, this time holding the tube at the quarter length position and striking the tube. Many frequencies again appear to quickly dissipate, leaving only one resonant frequency to survive at roughly 500 Hz. When the tube is held at one-sixth the length of the tube, again only one resonant frequency survives, but this time at about 900 Hz. It seems like different resonant frequencies exist depending on where the tube is held. What if the tube was not being touched when struck by the mallet? What would happen then? That's a really good question. Let's try it. Dr. Smith is not touching the tube. Instead, he is holding the tube up with a string. Now, when the tube is struck, all resonant frequencies are heard. How did that happen? The reason why different resonant frequencies are heard when the tube is held at different positions and why all resonant frequencies are heard when the tube is not touched is something scientists call standing waves.